Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain and welcome to Board Briefings. Fall is membership time, so I've got the Membership Brain Trust here. We've got some asks and things for you to do, some good material, so let me kick it off. Anita, it's 15 for 12, so what should people be thinking about around the board table? Well, each year, BOMA allows their prospective members to stretch a 12-month membership into a 15-month membership, and we're very excited about that. And so, we've, we've increased local participation by 15 since last year, but we encourage all of our local associations to participate and to promote this membership within their local associations by offering three extra months for their members. So that we want you to get excited about this because there are so many resources and materials available to the members and three extra months really makes a big difference. There are tons of resources available to help assist our local associations in promoting our 15 for 12 campaign. So we encourage you to start thinking about this and you as well as a board member to get excited about pushing this campaign. We are positive and confident that with full participation with the 15 for 12 campaign that we're going to have a very positive membership growth year in 2012. These materials can be customized to our local associations. So jump on board and help us promote 15 for 12. And this is a good time to get members. 2011, we're growing, right? Yes, and 2012 will be even better. Yeah, so go get them. Go get them right now. So Bob, 2012 was mentioned. Obviously, this yeah. is the time of year we do renewals and all that. So talk about 2012 a little bit. Well, part of that growth is the fact that you want as strong a member retention as possible. And now that the uh, BOMA Board of Governors has acted with the 3% uh, CPI increase, each local knows what they need to do, and if your board has not already acted, you should have uh, raised your dues or uh, set your dues for the 2012 member year. You should have communicated that with your members. But one of the most important things that you need, both in terms of uh, renewals and going after new members, is a very strong return on investment message. You need to really get together and figure out what you have and how this translates into value for your membership. And one of the things that we have at Boom International that many locals add to their invoices uh, when they send them out is the returning your investment through advocacy piece. It is updated annually. It is a compendium of our legislative and codes and standards victories and what this means to your members. You should be thinking about doing a similar sheet for what you have done on uh, at your local level and for the programs and the benefits that you offer to your members. So get them out and get them publicized. Great. So the operative phrase return on investment. So get that out there. So Dora, for the boards, they love to benchmark performance, compare themselves to the world. So you're in the middle of putting the operations survey together. So what's yes. that for people? Yes, I want to remind every local that the BAE Council is now conducting the 2011 local operations survey. This is, a, this is done every two years, and it is the most comprehensive survey of its kind. The information gathered from the, this survey is invaluable to BAEs and local leadership. The deadline for completing this survey is October 5th. We have well over half of all 93 locals in, but we would like to get as close to 100% as possible. The results will first be available at the BAE Leadership Conference in Washington on October 20th or 22nd, and later posted on the resources site. If you like any of what you heard or need more information, email us at membership at boma.org. Terrific. So as you're benchmarking yourselves, great data. I compare all around the network of associations, at least 60, 70 of them. I want to finish up by being a little bit of a rabble rouser. There's a great new book issued at the ASA conference in August, The End of Membership as We Know It. Really talks about how we need to expand our marketplace, work with social media, work with different membership benefits, but the model's gonna change over the next five to 10 years. It's a conversation I'd love to start with you guys as we go forward. And thank you on behalf of us for thinking about membership this fall.